Hey everyone. Now I'm in the process of making a video of how I put a song together from start to finish. And during that process I got to the trumpet part and uh, I realized that the trumpet was out of tune. So for instance, if I uh, play this note, I'll put the, the mute in just to save you a bit. You can tell the trumpet's a bit sharp. All right, by a bit. So what you'd normally do in that situation is adjust the tuning slide here, okay, to make the, the tube a bit longer, make it a bit lower. Problem is I haven't used this trumpet for so long, that thing's stuck. So what I was initially gonna do was just soak it overnight, which clears up a lot of crap in brass instruments. I've done that before, but I decided instead to go to Nugget Garage to see if Scott could help me with um, the metal work, because he had the idea that if you heat up with a heat gun, the, the pipes here, the outer pipe will heat up and expand, theoretically, while the inside one will stay the same size and hopefully loosen it enough to come out. So anyway, I took it down there and this is what happened. What's the theory behind this? Well, you heat the outside tube up, it'll expand, and the inside tube won't heat up as much. So you should end up with more clearance. Even though they're touching and conducting the heat, maybe? Well... Shit, <laughs> jump it. Look at the, um... The 240 volt. Done it. You break it, you broke it. Come on. And there goes the trumpet part. It's the bottom one that's jammed. Fuck! That's in there good, eh? Hmm. That's just silver solder, so if you heat that back up, it'll go back in there. <laughs> Them's the chances you take when you come to the nugget gap. <laughs> Well, he's broke me trumpet. I totally broke it. <laughs> Still good. Actually, if I get it to the right tuning point... Depends how far you got to move it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you heat that back up, it'll solder itself back in. Okay. Well, how far can I move it? Well, at the moment, not far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. She wouldn't sound real good like that. <laughs> Maybe stop fixing the trumpet now, Scott. Oh, well, you fix that. Bit, right? <laughs> Shit! You yeah, unsolded that bit now. Fuck sake. So it turns out I'm um I'm not a trumpet repair man. Yeah, I undid stuff. Oh well. There goes the trumpet part. <laughs> Right, well while trying to fix the trumpet, um, Scott had the heat gun a bit too close to this slider here and the spit valve's popped off because it's spring loaded and what happened is he's melted the solder here and this has come off so I'm going to try and uh, just heat that up and solder that back on again so I can put the spit valve back on. I just put a couple of bits of solder on here to give it something extra so when I heat it up it should stick to the main bit. So as you can see, that didn't go all that well. But at least I'm back to square one with the spit valve attached again. So that's good. And evidently I'm a better metal worker than Scott is. But anyway, I'm going to try my original plan, which is to soak this overnight and see if I can release this uh, tuning slide here so I can get the trumpet in tune. All right, so what you want to do here is take the valves out and do them separately with their own valve oil. Okay. Just take them out. Now these valves have the springs built in, not like my older instruments that had a spring under there. See the spring is part of it here, which is handy. Okay, just take them out. Take what you can off, like all these things. Just give it a, a good soak. Okay, grab your trumpet, throw it in there. All the bits, except the valves. Let that fill up enough to cover it and leave it overnight. 
Okay, I've taken it out of the water. I didn't bother leaving it in overnight because I'm too impatient. There is a slight gap in here where I might be able to squeeze some valve oil down. I haven't got much left. And hopefully that'll just seep through and maybe loosen it up enough to pull the slider out. As you can see, I'm not too attached to this trumpet. Otherwise I wouldn't be throwing it around like this. Let's see what happens. I don't want to break it, but let's face it, it's been broken once today. That's a bit of solder that just came off. It's probably going to break the same spot that broke today. Oh no, it's moving! It's moving in the right spot. We've got the correct movement here. Here we go, here we go. Oh, it's, it's, it's moving in both spots, there and there. I really just want this one to move. Haha. <laughs> All right, so what I might do is try and get that soldered up nicely. That's what happened today when uh, Scott had the heat on it. You can see it there, all the solder's melted, and that bit came away from this bit. But now it's back in one. I might see about getting this repaired while it's out. But it should be repairable. I'll give the trumpet an all-around clean here. Give it tubes a bit of a going over. Bit of an overhaul. Oh, now that's stuck. You're fucking kidding me. Jesus. Oop. There we go. Alright, now I've put Vaseline on that. And uh, just put it back in there one, one side at a time and just work it through. Okay, so the trumpet's all good now. It's all lubed up and ready for action, but it's getting a bit late in the day, so I'm not going to play the trumpet now, but it's ready to go. Okay, it's daytime again, so I can try this out, and I've got a movable tuning slide. So I'll just pop the mute in so it doesn't get carried away. So I can vary that. as opposed to which was sharp just pull that out a bit now we've got a tuned trumpet so I can start recording right so as I said at the start I'm currently working on a song project and showing how to create the song from start to finish including trumpet and other things so uh, look out for that in the hopefully near future and I'll see you then the slider's fucking tight as a nose cunt mm.